I love the scripture verse that says, instruct a wise man and he will become wiser still. Teach a righteous man and he will increase his learning. I want to ask you guys, how many of you are increasing your knowledge and increasing your learning? I feel like God's had me on a fast forward of learning, even in the last four years. The blessing of all the mayhem and craziness has been that God has elevated and literally accelerated people's learning, right? We dug deep, we researched, we learned things that we didn't know. We're figuring out creative strategies for finances and health and all sorts of things. So if you're on here tonight, I love that you want to become wiser still, right? We're not done yet. We haven't learned it all. Scott and I tune into every single one of the weekly meetings if we're not doing another meeting ourselves with leadership, right? We're always on the meetings for This Is It team. Why? We're sitting on the edge of our seats with notepads and pens, taking notes, learning and gleaning from these incredible leaders that we know that we can learn from, right, guys? The interesting thing in Proverbs 9.9, 9, it says that, but right after, if you go to Proverbs 12, it's interesting. It says, he who walks with the wise will become wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. Now, I think this is powerful because I think so many people um, are hanging with the wrong people. Now, I'm going to tell you something about LifeWave. We're the right people. We're the light people. We're the right people. Say it. I'm the light people. I'm the right people. We are the right ones. We're the ones pulling people out of that, uh, you know, that dark spirit, that dark place financially, that dark place physically. How many of you know that when you set people free, like you feel like they're illuminated, their life comes back, their light comes back, right? It's interesting though, that the companion of fools will be destroyed. So we must be very, very careful who we lend an ear to, who we lend our hour to, who we lend our mind and our heart to. We have to be very careful who we listen to, right? Because if you're hanging out with a bunch of foolish people that are saying dumb things about network marketing because they don't know, they simply are ignorant or have never researched it. I always say, be careful who you take knowledge from, right? Be careful who you take information from. Find out who they are and where they're at. So I love this. We need to grow. We need to rise. And I'm going to help you guys to do that tonight. And you're going to be so happy you stayed on here. But those who keep learning will keep rising in life. If, if that that's you, raise your hand wherever you're at, right? I always feel like you can feel us in spirit. We're all together with this. I see a couple hands going up. Thank you. Thank you for raising your hand. Thank you. Yes. Come on. I love you guys. Yes. Those who keep learning will keep rising in life. We are never done learning. We are never done rising. We are never done growing, right? That is why the Lord still has us on this planet. God has a plan for us and it is good. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to need some tools on this journey of network marketing, especially if you're new to it, if you've never done it before. I'm going to tell you, someone like Theodora can get into the gates and she is going full throttle with this thing, right? And she's not, she's not a network marketing professional, right? And someone like that can get in, win trips to Mexico, help change an entire community up in Canada, right? She's doing all of this stuff and she's never done it before. So how is she doing it? Number one thing she's doing and using the tools that she's using is the patches. The patches are your most fabulous tool. If you guys don't have any patches to patch people, you're not in business. You have got to upgrade your kit. You've got to go into your back office, click on the button that says store, scroll down where it says upgrade to gold, platinum, or diamond, and you've got to get yourself in business. Tonight is the night. This is the night. Okay, so you got to have patches because patches are the biggest, greatest tool all of us have. All of us have that same tool. All of us. You could be Steve and Gina. You could be Theodora. You could be Lisa Johnson. You could be Andrew. You could be Victory. You could be any one of these people that are on tonight. And we will all have the same opportunity if we have patches. If you don't have patches, it's going to be difficult to grow your business. Okay, because the patch rocks. When you take it out, people look at what's in your hand and they say, I want that. You know why I took that patch out tonight, everybody, and I showed everybody the patch and how to use it? I wanted to show them the easy and simplicity of the patch because when people see you doing it in your hand, they say, I want that. I want what's in your hand. So whenever you do a Zoom, my business advice for you is you better be holding the patch. You better be holding the salt. You better be holding whatever it is that you're trying to, to tell people that they need because they're looking at that and they want to get what's in your hand. Okay? That's human nature. So. 
Uh, this is an info, another tool. We talked about it tonight. If you don't know these tools, you're not winning financially in this business yet. The good news is you're learning them right now, so you're about to grow, baby. This is a team. That's all your business uh, tools and technology and and literally everything you need. If you're talking to a business person and they want to say, well, what's the duplicatable system? You tell them this is team.com. Oh my gosh, it's phenomenal. It's the most thorough duplicatable system I've ever seen in my life. This is it, team.com. You know what else is a valuable tool? Live or recorded Zooms. Do you know how many times I sent out that Zoom with Dr. Leland Stillman and the merits out? In one day, I sent it to 150 people. 150 people, okay? This business will not happen by accident, okay? Maybe for the chimney sweep. I love that guy and I love that story. But for most people, we got to get our hands in there. We got to get to network. We got to get to network marketing. We got to work in this business, right? So I'm, there's a great Zoom. Maybe you think tonight was great. Send that Zoom out to everybody you love and care about. Send it out to people that you think might be interested. Not everybody likes my energy. I know that because I'm a lot for some people. But you know what? Those that like my energy will love the energy and they'll get involved with your business. Okay. I am excited. I'm happy. I'm joyful. I'm full of electricity. This is just how God created me. And I'm actually really thankful for it, right? Thank God they never med medicated me as a kid. Anyway, uh, how about the LifeWave InTouch app? Have you downloaded that? There's the beautiful brand new magazine that just came out. How many of you went into your back office, clicked on store and ordered yourself one, five or 10 copies of this magazine? I'm going to use this magazine as a marketing tool. And I'm going to drop off a couple patches with the magazine and say, I'll be back tomorrow to pick up that magazine because I got three other people that want it, right? So get your guys to some sales and magazines. If you haven't gone in, they went live last week, Monday already in our back office, okay? How about Facebook groups? This is it, team. This is the Facebook group, guys. There's also LifeWave Business Builders, which is the corporate Facebook group. I mean, I'm telling you what, they're telling you a little bit of information, nothing compared to what's happening in This Is It team. I mean, this thing is, like I said, thorough, right? You can type in anything you want. It's all in there. It's all in there, okay? How about the This Is It team YouTube channel? Have you guys went and liked that yet or subscribed to that? Do it tonight. Why? Because whenever a brand new video goes live, you'll get a notification saying, hey, brand new video was just uploaded to, uploaded to This Is It team YouTube channel. How about LifeWave Health? YouTube channel. That's the corporate YouTube channel. For those of you seeking more wisdom with David Schmidt and wanting to learn more about how does each one of these patches work? When I first started, I was ignorance on fire. I didn't know how it did that to my dad's legs. I had no idea. Now I know. Back then I had no idea. Now I'm wisdom on fire. Watch out, right? Because when I looked at LifeWave Health on YouTube, David Schmidt literally did an hour long presentation. There's 12 hundred presentations there that are all about health. So if you are talking to a doctor, go on there and find one of those that's straight David Schmidt and send it over or send the Leland Stillman one with the merits. It's phenomenal, right? But I went to LifeWave Health every morning, my education, my brainwashing, my retraining my brain. I put a video on, I still do it to this day, you guys, every single morning, if you come to my bathroom while I'm getting ready, guess what I've got going on? David Schmidt or some type of teaching and training. When I first started, I went to the LifeWave Health because that was the corporate YouTube channel. And I just started listening to the, 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 the video on carnosine, the video on glutathione, the video on what does David Schmidt say about the X49, right? I didn't know about anything. So I just started listening and learning. And as I listened, wow, I got excited. I'd get done listening and I'd call two, three, five people and say, wow, you got to get this patch on, right? So the reason I'm so fired up is I know so much. I've heard so much. I've listened so much. I'm so engaged. I'm so close to the fire. If you're not uh, fired up, it's because you're so far away from the fire. It's like you can't see the fire. It's like you're off in the desert and you're like, you know, you can't see the fire. It's too far away. Another great tool that I use is How to Reverse Aging, that book by Dr. John Harmon. He's part of the LifeWave family. Great guy. Great human being. He talks all about the GHKCU peptide, how you can get it through needles, which are expensive, painful, and have risk involved or you can get it through a patch, right? And how about Dr. Lauren Picard? Dr. Blue, they call him. He discovered this peptide in 1973, 51 years ago, <laughs> right? I have his book. In fact, yesterday I went on Amazon and I hit the buy button on five of them. Why? 
I'm going to use that book as one of my tools. When I go around and talk to doctors, skin care practitioners, uh, any anti-aging clinics, I'm taking that book with me. Why? Because it says GHK, CU, peptide, skin and health. I'm no dummy. Again, I'm not the smartest person in the room, but if I was, I'd be in the wrong room. So I hang out with the legends. I hang out with Dr. Lauren Picard. He's sitting on the, the passenger seat of my car every day when I drive around town. He's my, he's my passenger, right? Because then when I run into an esthetician friend, I hand her the book, I hand her a couple patches, and I say, wow, your, your clients need this. This is going to be a great additional source of revenue for you, plus your clients are going to look younger. They're going to thank you, right, guys? So these are your tools. Hopefully you took a picture of that. Let's talking about testimonies. Either you're going to start the fire or find the fire. When you, some of you have say, I don't know what to say. I loved it. When a couple of weeks ago at the This Is It convention, Ken said, you need tools and testimonies. Your answer should be tools or testimonies. Let me say it with you. If someone asks you a question, you got to answer the question with a tool or testimony. What do you answer with? A tool or testimony. Why am I saying it over and over? Because repetition is good for the developing mind. That's why. Because some of you are not using the tools or the testimonies. I don't know what you're using and you wonder why you're floundering and not making any money. Use the tools and use the testimonies. That's how you get it. That's how you get the money. That's how you make the difference. That's how you are the miracle maker and the miracle starter. So what do you do if you don't have testimonies? One of two things. You either start the fire, you are the fire baby, or you find the fire. Okay, so how did I start the fire? Well, I just started giving patches, two patches here, one patch there, three patches there. I, I thought I'm going to create my own fire. I'm going to create my own testimonies. And again, back to what you need. You need patches to start the fire, right? Or if you say, I don't want to start the fire. I don't want to give this technology to anybody I know. I don't want to give it to anybody I love and care about. Okay, this might not be the right business for you. But maybe you want to find the fire. And how do we find the fire? We had fire tonight. Theodora was fired. That girl was on fire in Canada. I can see her glowing from North Dakota. Right, guys? So you got to get around the fire. you got to find the fire. Where is the fire happening? I'll tell you where it's happening. In the Facebook group. Go to This Is It team. Go to this looking glass in the Facebook group and learn to search. Learn to search headache. Learn to search pain. Learn to search money. Learn to search whatever. Like, you know, you can just go to these Facebook groups and you can literally look in the looking glass and find what you're looking for. Sometimes I just Google it. If you don't like the search engine, Google, then use Brave. Use whatever you use, but go find the information. You're a leader. You're an entrepreneur. Find the fire. There's got to be something somewhere where they're talking about this, right? Go to TikTok. Go to Instagram. Just hashtag LifeWave. What comes up? Do you see any pictures? Come on, guys. You're an entrepreneur. You can do this. So you got to find the fire. If you're not going to start it or find it, you know what I do? Should I tell you what I do? Both. I am a freaking fire starter. I'm going around lighting fires all day, every day, and I'm finding the fire. I'm engaged. I'm pulling. Listen, we're going to make millions this year in the business. I'm just going to tell you, my 1099 was seven figures. True story. Are you kidding me? You're one full, you're one in the business, and we're making that kind of money? This is really happening, but it's not without effort. It's not without energy. We are working this thing like this is it. This is our moment. This is our moment to get people free physically and financially, right? So again, the weekly Zoom meetings, you don't know where the fire's at? Get on a Zoom meeting. There's one, two, three testimonies. Hopefully tonight you had your phones out and you were taking pictures of the hands and my dad's legs. Use them. Listen, guys, the testimonies are a currency. Do you know what a currency is? It's a flow. It's an energy flow. You know how when people have good energy, you're attracted to it. The reason they call money currency is there's a coming and a going, a coming and a going. Do you know that these testimonies are a currency? They're literally a currency in our Facebook groups. They're literally a currency on our Zoom meetings. You guys have access to unlimited currency. My question is, are you taking advantage of the unlimited currency? Uh, if you're not, I'm going to question, you might need to put some more patches on yourself. Put some right over top of your head. Put them right over top. Of all. I mean, just line your face at this point all around your head so you figure it out, right? But the bottom line is, is these testimonies are a form of currency. They're worth money. By showing my dad's legs, it took our business to the top of this comp plan in 66 days. With my 80-year-old father's legs, pictures are currency. Testimonies are currency. Find 
the testimonies. Find the fire, find the testimonies, or start the fire by getting your own testimonies going. I do both because I don't like to be limited. I don't ever like to choose one or the other. I choose both. I'm doing both. What are you guys doing? Okay. If you're doing both, give me a hand raise if you're doing both. I need you guys doing both. If you want to make a million dollars, we've got to get into a billion homes. Stop being afraid of what could go wrong and start being excited about what is going to go right. This thing works. How many of you got on here tonight because you need a mind shift? Okay. Remember, I told you there's only two things. When people ask you questions, there's two things you're answering with, a tool or a testimony. And if you're not using one of those two things, you're probably not making a million dollars yet. Okay. But now you're having a mind shift tonight. You're like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. What have I been doing? Driving myself nuts, trying to figure out acupressure points, trying to be a doctor to solve everybody's medical problems. Knock it off. We don't want to be doctors. They're all losing their jobs and getting fired right now. We want to be health experts. We want to be light workers, right? We want to be money makers. We want to teach people about financial independence. That's what we want to do, right? So you need a mind shift tonight. Here's something that's interesting. Grit, quit versus grit. Are you the person when the going gets tough, you quit or do you get gritty? Do you get quitty or do you get gritty? Which one are you? I want to know. Because the struggle you're feeling when you begin to grow this business is actually called progress. If you're feeling that struggle, oh, I'm getting stretched outside of my comfort zone. I know I need to call that person back. I dropped out those patches with that doctor and I haven't got a hold of them yet. I need to do it now. Okay, that struggle that you're feeling is actually progress. And that's where you're going to get gritty and you're going to dig deep and you're going to go for it. Okay. You know, I watched this movie. I never watched TV, by the way. I just don't watch it. But we watched this movie called Snow Society. And it was a true story. I never heard about it in my life. And I don't recommend all of you watch it unless you really got a strong stomach and you're really ready to get gritty. But it was called The Snow Society. And it was about this plane crash that happened in 1973 with this group of these guys that were these soccer or these football players. There's 40 people on the plane. They crashed in the Andes Mountains in the middle of winter. OMG, I've never seen anything like it. 16 of these 40 people lived. Okay, guys, but what they went through in 73 days, I watched it and I said to Scott, we should not complain about anything. Like these guys, it was a whole nother level of survival, a whole nother level of push through, a whole nother, nother level of, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. At one point, the guy said he had to cross the Andes mountains in risk of freezing to death. Literally, it was a mountain chain. And he said to his friend, I'm going to keep going. One of the guys went back. I'm going to keep going. And I thought, holy cow, it strengthened me. It gave me a whole new level of resolve and grit watching that show, seeing how those guys live. It was a true story. My gosh. Anyway, if you don't have a strong stomach, don't watch it. But the bottom line is sometimes you need perspective. Sometimes you need to see something tougher, right? Sometimes you need to see and say, wow, what I got here is so easy. I mean, I got a tools and testimonies and I can take this thing to a million dollars. Like, don't quit, get grit, guys, let's go. And so you can do hard things. I, I thought about that. And my friend, Scott Q, sent this to me. His name is Q. And he said, Renita, last night when you talked about that movie and what these guys overcome in our, we have a Sunday night business training that we do. He said, it realized I'm reading this book. And, and in this book, it says you can do hard things. The best version of yourself comes from cultivation, not comfort. If you're comfortable in your business, you're probably not growing and helping any more people and making any more money. you got to stretch yourself, okay? And I love it because humans are very predictable. Our habits are very consistent. If you guys tell me what you did last week, I can tell you what you're going to do this week. It's literally that easy. But just like the book of the month, right? This book of the month that we're reading with this uh, Patrick but David, like this book of the month talks about figure out what your enemy is, right? And what we have, all of us, we have a language of resistance, all of us on this tonight. And you know that when you get up to that language of resistance, it's kind of pushing you down. It's saying you can't do it. It's too tough. You're too tired. They'll say no to you. They're too broke. They're too poor. You don't have time. You can't afford to upgrade. Like these are the language of resistance. We have got to learn as wise people for the kingdom of heaven on earth, how to figure out when we're coming up against the language of resistance. And then you know what we got to do? We got to push back. We got to say, I'm going to keep going. 
just like that guy did. I'm going to keep going because we can do hard things. Again, humans are predictable. Humans are consistent. Habits are consistent in the humans. My question for you today is, do you need to create new habits? I want you guys to give me some hands, some high fives. That's all I'm seeing on there. If you need to create new habits to build this business to a million and beyond, do you need to create some new habits tonight? I, I need to know. Tell me the truth. If some of you saying, you know, I don't need to create no habits, then this is not for you. Maybe you say, I got the perfect habits. My, my business is working perfectly. I'm going to tell you with making over seven figures this year, I even need to create new habits. The merits will tell you they need to create new habits. Why? Because many of you watching tonight, many of you watching tonight are your own worst enemy. When he tells you to identify your enemy, that Patrick McDavid, most of us, I feel like it's maybe not our ex or, you know, our, our, old business partner, all this. It's probably ourselves, right? We got negative self-talk, right? And here's the thing, like it says right here, you cannot negotiate with the voice of resistance. Don't think you're going to go talk. It's like the person saying, I'm going to try to quit smoking. I'm going to try to quit, you know, eating fast food every day. I'm just going to go once a day, right? You cannot negotiate with the voice of resistance. It'll pull you back like a trap. It'll talk you out of your dreams of health. It'll talk you out of your financial dreams. It'll keep you mediocre. I had a friend of mine who was a multiple Olympian. He had been to four Olympics. And he said to me, Renita, you never fall across the finish line at the Olympics and you think to yourself, how did I get here? You know every practice you did. You know every mile you ran. You know every blister that broke open. You know every tear you shed. You know every time you entertained doubt and pushed it back. When you fall across the line at the Olympics, you know exactly what it took to get there. Okay, guys? So if you're negotiating with the voice of resistance, with these poor habits, with these poor ways of thinking, with these poor behaviors, and it's not working for you, okay, you need to create some new habits. So let's talk about switch on your brain. Now, this was the book of the month, what, last month or the month before? Sitting right here on my desk. I have this book sitting everywhere. Do you know why? Because I think I've read it 20 times. Why? Because I think everything comes back to the neural patterns. Trust me, I'm a genius at studying neural patterns. Why? Because my mother was diagnosed with Parkinson's six and a half years ago. I became a student of neurology of the brain. I became a student of habits and patterns and behavior, right? Why? Because I want to help my mom win. And in that process of helping my mom, I help myself, I help my family, I'm helping you. But it takes 21 days to create a new habit. And how I think of a new habit, you guys, 21 days. So if you said, I tried it for three days and it didn't work, so I quit the business. I talked to seven people and they didn't want to do it, so I'm out, right? Who are you? Get up and keep going. Are you a quitter or a gritter? Let's go. Do you have grit or are you quit? So 21 days to create a new habit. And the literal thing that happens when you create a new habit, once you understand the science of it, here's another one. I got another one laying on my desk right here. When you create a new habit, do you know what it does? It lays down a new neuropathy in your brain. It actually lays down new neural patterns, a new way of thinking. It's like a new groove in your brain. I think most people's brains are short-circuiting because of all the drama and the trauma and the COVID and the deaths and the fear. Their brains are... So we need to create some new habits. And in order to do that, we're going to have to do some right things consistently. We're going to have to push back the, the voice of resistance, push back the voice of doubt, push back the voice of, of, of failure, push back the, the voice of I'm not good enough. And we're just going to have to get in the saddle and ride. And we're going to have to do it consistently and persistently for 21 days because it takes 21 days to lay down a new tree. Now, according to Dr. Uh, Carolyn Leaf, you just have one, like it's like having a branch of a tree in 21 days but it's not gonna be the tree that's growing into the oak. You need three cycles of 21 days. You need 63 days of consistent activity to not just grow a new branch, to grow a new circuit. You need 63 days to grow a brand new tree. You have changed 
your brain if you do something for 63 days consistently. Now I'm gonna ask you, how many of you have shared tools and testimonies for 63 days consistently? Give me a hands up. I can give you both my hands, both my feet, all my fingers and all my toes. Because if there's something that I know, I am consistent. So if you have not shared tools and testimonies for 63 consecutive days, I'm just gonna tell you where the magic lies. Do it. Go do that. For 63 days, be committed to your goals, to your new neural pattern. Don't let anything veer from you. Say to people, I'm creating a brand new brain. Back off. I got a brand new brain I'm creating, right? Okay? And so I love this. I mean, I could talk all night on these topics because I'm a behavioral change specialist, and I love helping people take back their power by believing they can. But I don't know if you've read this book. Another favorite of mine, I think I've read it, I don't know, 10 times. And I just, I wanted to post this up here because it starts with amplifying love. Why do we do this? In a world that hates, hates one another, hates everything, hates, hates, hates. hates I mean, they're like hating on people when they're not getting the vaccine. They're hating on people when they are getting the vaccine. Hate, 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 hates everywhere. I say we should be love amplifiers, right? We're light workers. We should amplify love. And I love this because it says generation after generation is failing to hold the line on the ideals and virtues of humanity. The low hum of mediocrity. I'm loud for some people. You know why? Because they live their lives at a low hum. And that is not me. Uh, when that scripture verse said, come at me full throttle, or if you come at me mediocre or halfway, I'll spew you from your, my mouth. I believed it. I'm on fire for the Lord. I'm on fire for purpose. I'm on fire for these patches. I'm on fire for financial freedom. I'm on fire for a billion homes uh, having these patches in them and not taking drugs every day. I'm on fire for this stuff. Can you tell? But the low hum of mediocrity and the highest pitch of narcissism have replaced what was once the chorus of society singing to virtue, progress, and selflessness. Our talents and collective focus are not fully invested in personal mastery and social contribution, but squandered. How many people do you know squandering their lives away? Right? On base sensation. I mean, the whole web is sensationalism, right? It's just, uh, it's, it's like you're trying to keep up with the Joneses and the Joneses are broke, right? It's crazy. And so too often we don't call out a wrong or expect ourselves or others to act with routine integrity, excellence, or love. There has been a worldwide failure in leadership, birthing an apathetic populace. Everyone's apathetic, unjustifiable poverty. Gosh, so many people struggling financially. Unconscionable greed. Oh my goodness, don't get me started. And a globe ravaged and booby trapped by war. So many people, wars make everybody money. Wars are money laundering if you haven't figured it out yet, right? So many people are afraid to demand more, to say, I want to make a million dollars. People are scared to say that. I said to Scott, I want to make $5 million in 2024. I want to make $5 million. I'm going to share with you guys tonight. We're going to make $5 million. I am earning $5 million in 2024. Okay, there you go. I'm not afraid to demand more. I'm not afraid to say, I wanna help 1 million people. I don't wanna sponsor 940 people. I wanna sponsor 2000 people. I got some work to do, I better get going, right? So many people are afraid to demand more, to dare as have the great leaders of the past. Think about the leaders of the past. They just went all in, all in. I mean, look at uh, you know Albert Einstein, he said the the, the solution to the future is frequencies, right? Look at this. Look at Nikola Tesla. The future of mankind that will be heal the planet will be sound, light, energy, frequency. Frequency is the solution, guys, right? And so it says, I love this. We must do better. We must do better from the squalor of a contaminated moral environment must surface an honorable few. Raise your hand if you're an honorable few. Raise, put it as high as you can, put a both in the air. You're unafraid to challenge the direction of the world. I'm unafraid to tell people you can heal your body with light. When I first got started, I was afraid to say that and feel that the Christians would judge me. And now I'm saying, Christians, snap out of the darkness. You're taking handfuls of pharmaceutical and it's dimming your light. Step into the light and put a patch on, right? Let's go. We're unafraid to challenge the direction of the world. This is new. 
This is cutting edge and this will change and save your life and your family's finances. History shall fill in the wake of our actions. So let us be purposeful and let us be great. For this, we now declare we shall inspire greatness. Are you walking around with this patch inspiring greatness? Or are you still living on those old neural patterns of fear, shame, guilt? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to bother people. It's time for you to step into the neural pattern of greatness. Because when you do, the whole world wins. Everyone around you wins. They win physically with their health and they win financially because you're giving them the financial tools to equip them. Like I said to my husband, people don't have the tools to experience financial literacy. We have them. And you were given them tonight with the tools and the testimonies. That's really all I have for you guys. David Schmidt's tomorrow night, and he's going to be awesome. I'm going to be on again here in about 33 minutes. You guys, I just pray right now. Let's just, let's just end in prayer. Can we end in prayer? Can we be so bold in this gray world that we live in? Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just come to you tonight. And we just bow our heads, and we just ask, Lord Jesus, that any spirit that is not of you be broken off, any curse, any family lineage curse of poverty, depravity, a sickness, ill health, ill finances, shame, guilt, anything more that is not of your, your goodness, kindness, your, your, your prosperity, God, anything that is not of your abundance, like it says in John 10, 10, if it is not of you, Lord, we ask right now in the mighty name of Jesus to cut it off of these people's minds, their hearts, let it be erased from their minds as far as the east is from the west, as it says in your word, and let their minds be renewed. Like it says, let your minds be renewed. We are made new by the renewing of our minds and made their minds be made new tonight by the courage, the strength, the stamina, the tools, the testimonies, uh, just the unending love that we pour out, that you pour out to us, God, so we can pour out to others, the grace, the mercy, the kindness, the fulfillment, the adventure. We ask that you fill their spirits with all of these things as they run forth with these patches in hand to share this awesome technology with the world. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we know you called us for such a time as this, and we do not take that lightly. We are the ones called to courage. We are the ones called to greatness, and we want to share that greatness with the world, and we're honored. And we're humbled to share this patch with the world. And we're so thankful, Steve and Gina. We're so st thankful for everybody on tonight. I'm so thankful for my family, my mom, my dad, my children, for Scott. So thankful for my Lord Jesus in heaven. I'm so thankful for Theodora for sharing tonight. I'm so thankful for David Schmidt and the corporate team. I'm so thankful for all these great testimonies that we get to share, of spreading God's goodness and light. And God, let us be warriors of your light, not warriors, but warriors of your light. Let us make a difference in so many lives and let the finances come in greater than we can think, ask, or possibly imagine, as it says in Ephesians 3.20. Let the finances just be poured out over everybody watching this. All the leadership tonight on their teams, expand their boundaries to countries where they wake up in the morning and they have 10,000 new people in their downline from other countries. Expand our territories, the prayer of Jabez says. We are living it. We are living for such a time as this, Lord. Thank you for calling us to LifeWave. Thank you for calling us to this opportunity. Thank you for getting us on tonight. And thank you, Lord Jesus, that you loved us before we loved you. And we're so grateful for all that. We're honored to share, to share this message of light with the world. And remember, in James, it says, every good and perfect gift, every good and perfect gift, every gift of excellence, every gift of greatness, Every good and perfect gift comes from heaven, the father of heavenly light. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen.